Hi everyone, welcome to another QuickSighter tutorial. We've covered in another video the features on cytologic preparations that allow you to classify a non-small cell carcinoma as a squamous carcinoma. In this video, we'll briefly review the features that allow classification as an adenocarcinoma in lung or lymph node specimens. Remember that current guidelines recommend subtyping non-small cell carcinoma on small specimens, including cytology, particularly since the recommended predictive testing is different for squamous carcinomas and adenocarcinomas. The first feature is mucin vacuoles. These need to be distinguished from the hydropic vacuoles sometimes seen in the cytoplasm of squamous carcinomas. Look for sharply demarcated vacuoles with reinforced contours. Most convincing is when the vacuole indents the nucleus or has a targetoid mucin vacuole. These can be most readily appreciated on Romanowski staining, on which the mucin is pink. Sometimes the pink mucin can also appear granular. The other features are architectural, as in these acinar structures with several cells whose cytoplasm is polarized toward a central point, as can be appreciated in these examples. Intact papillae are rarely seen on FNA specimens, but can be helpful in determining differentiation. Lastly, a lipidic component with flat sheets that can appear quite bland, sometimes admixed with more overtly malignant groups, as in this example, can show that the lesion is an adenocarcinoma. This last feature is essentially exclusive to primary tumors as opposed to metastases. Hope you enjoy this. All the best.